I know that a lot of teachers give their students a list of pieces they should play and that is the end of their harp education. So they do what they're told one by one and step by step. Now, while I do believe that there are some things we really should do and everyone should do them because they're really basic technique. I don't ever give the same things to any of my students because they're all very different. And while maybe perhaps our first couple of lessons could be identical because I don't know you yet, once I get to know a student, I really customize what I give them. So uh, if it is a student with very short amount of time to practice, I would like to give them an exercise that can make them work on several things at once that is really focused, you know, and small and focused with a short amount of time. But if it's a student who has a lot of time, then my exercises that I give them will be completely different. Also your pieces. I would like you to learn some basic techniques so I can say, you know, this piece really works uh, on this technique so it's good that you play this one but I never force my students to play music they don't like because you're doing this for your pleasure and you should not play anything that you do not like so I will always have alternatives and if you come to me with music you want to play whether it be popular music you know film music religious music it could be anything really that you're into uh, I will do uh, the best I can to adapt it to the harp so we can work together to adapt it to your ability and to your harp so you can play it. Actually, I am also a sound engineer as well as being a harpist. So let's say if you're interested in rock and other kinds of music where you might be amplifying your harp, I can help you with that as well.